Hey, okay. Now, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to build the mini quad, as you can see, by assortment of tools here. So, um, you don't see that. So, right now, what you need is you need some kind of serrated knife. You're going to also need some dowels, some square wooden dowels. I have a um, link to them in the description. And you also will need some wooden circles. So, so right now, what, oh yeah, and also hot glue. So, yeah. so um, what we're going to do, this is going to be a very simple uh, wooden frame. It's not going to be the whole mini quad. It's just going to be the frame. This is part one, which is the frame. And then part two will also, I'll have a link to part two in the description as well. And it might actually just be, you know, like right there, where up next, the up next column of the next video. So. To start, first, you have to get stickers off of these. We have little tag stickers. I'm going to do that right now. Not too hard. Second, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to cut these dowels in half. So, you want to find, like, a close half, like, you know, Closest half you can find doesn't have to be the exact half, but you know, the closest half you can find. So I say right around there. I'm not gonna do anything fancy here because you know, it's all gonna be masked by the huge wooden circles. And then you wanna take your serrated knife, mini saw, whatever you have, and you want to kind of cut an etch mark in the dowel. A really deep etch mark. Almost cutting right there okay so I don't know if you do that way there you go all right so now after you do that sorry because it's gonna kind of go walky wonky here so after you do that then you're going to want to do it on all four sides and on the same path too on the same like line area So, now that we've done that, uh, that is totally not what you call it, but it's fine. It's fine. Now, after we do that, we're going to snap it, which was incredibly easy. And then you want to take the serrated knife and, you know, just kind of get off that excess there. Now, if you're just, if you're just, you, you like, uh, like me, I'm impatient. If you're like me, I'm impatient, you'll do this. But if, you know, you're a very patient person then you will cut all the way through and make a very a very precise cut so now that I actually got it a little bit wrong I'm going to now cut off the amount that I got wrong so I'm gonna just cut off this piece right here I'm gonna time lapse this so time lapse starting now get broken teeth okay so now that I got similar like identical ones out of that one dowel that was one wooden dowel now I'm gonna take the other one take the measurements from this wooden dowel and I'm gonna use a pencil and I'm going to make that mark and then I'm gonna cut it with a serrated knife Oh, and I just I just make double marks, you know, just to so I can cut a step, you know, making another mark. But, you know. All right, have to do that. So I will time lapse through this now. So now we have all identical dowels, as you can see. Now we're going to work with our circles. Now, to do this, we are going to do something very unreliable. We are going to hot glue these. Now, for the best hot glue connection that I know, the best hot glue connection you want, 
uh, I'm gonna kind of take my serrated knife and make like little edges in the actual wood itself. It doesn't have to be crazy. It can be like the tiniest of edges. But if you have an abrasive surface that's not like smooth, then it hooks to the hot glue way better. So do that. Side of the dowel. And you only want to do it on one side. One side and then the other side. The one side and then the opposite side on one end. If that confused you, sorry. That, 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 let me do that, etched, and I'm going to time it up. We've got all of our dowels, um, you know, braids and stuff, and you know, and stuff, and stuff, and stuff. So, now that we've done that, we are going to hot glue it to the circles, and yeah. Yeah, these circles are already abrasive, but you know, if you just want to do it for good, you know, good measure, then you can kind of just brush it quite across. Yeah, the so surface itself, considering, you know, you don't know exactly where you're going to place them. So I'm just get the whole surface. Now, Okay, so, and you also want to keep track of the abrasive surfaces. So, now, what we can do is we can um, take the dowels, and you can configure them, you know, how any many ways you want to do it. The way I'm doing it is an X configuration, because I'm more familiar with the X configuration. But if you want to do it a plus configuration, do a plus configuration, a Y configuration, a T figure configuration, whatever. You know, just do you. So, yeah, but right now I'm doing an X configuration. So, so I'm going to move this so I can, you know, map it out a little better. So, yeah, and boom, that's it. All right, so this is how it will look this is how it will look i can't really show you well i actually can but i just press it down really hard like really really hard no really really hard and i can get under there and yeah maybe i can show you one second one second guys one second everything's falling apart everything's falling apart i can't show you i cannot show you Sorry guys, everything is falling apart. Sorry guys, I can't show you. But as you might have seen in the title, or as you saw the video, you, you'll probably have seen the actual quad itself. So now, we can start hot gluing. Now, I just want to say this. Future reference, you know, while you're doing this. I did something horrible that you should not do. Okay, so I was cutting it. Then I broke it off. The one thing I did was I didn't cut deep enough. And when I did that, it caused problems. I did this to my dowel. I splintered it. So with that, now I'll have a bad connection and it'll be a problem on me. I don't want it to be a problem on you, so don't do it. Good, now, okay. So, now I'm going to get hot glue. So I'm gonna take this. I'm going to take my bad one that I did, bad, and I'm going to put some hot glue on it, let it seep a little bit on both sides, okay, so, now, I'll place down on the bottom, plant that down there, and then I will, I will wait, cause I am stupid. Okay, so don't put it, don't put it on the top and bottom. Just put it on the bottom, cause you want to be able to get to your top, cause you also want to put the electronics in. That's gonna be in the next video. Blah blah. blah. 
So, yeah. So I did something stupid. Don't do it. I'm doing a lot of stupid things in this video. I'm really bad at this for some reason. But, you know, you still take my advice. So, yeah. One sec. I'm just waiting for it to cool. Alright, so. Now I will do it to the other. See, that's it's very hard connection to take off. Okay. So, now I will do it to the other four. Time lapse starting now. Okay. So, now that we've done that, we've glued them all down, and yeah, we've glued them all down. It's pretty rigid, you know, rigid flight. Now, and it looks like that. Sorry, it looks like that. That's what I wanted to show y'all. Okay, well, I'll show you this. It looks like that. That's way more symmetrical. It looks like that. So, and then you just have the top on, and boom. All your worries disappear. All those worries all those worries now so yeah so i'm not gonna glue it the top down yet but you get how it is um so yeah that's the end of this video uh like subscribe share and um yeah i'll see you in part two